Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the Bi Weekly Contest 91 split message based on limit. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So, this poem I'm a little bit sad about because I got five minute penalty because I missed the uh, impossible case. Oh, I, I just returned something stupid for it. Um, I, eh. But anyway, uh, uh, that aside, the, the first thing that you want to do, of course, is to figure out how many pages you want, right? Or it's optimal. Like, you know, in this case, this is nine, uh, this is uh, 14 pages, and this one is two pages, right? So you want to figure, I call it pages, but messages, I guess, is probably more correct. But yeah, so, and of course, um, there probably, I don't know that, hmm, there may be ways of doing it, and, um, but yeah, but I, I don't know how, how to do it analytically. Like, there may be a, a cost form for solving this, and someone smarter than me can leave in the comments. Um, but the way that I did it is with binary search. Um, I, and this is my binary search code. Um, so I'm not going, in this video, this is a Q4, this is a hard problem. I'm not going to go over the fundamentals of binary search that much in this video. Um, I, I'll have a um, tutorial on it at some point on how I write it anyway. Um, but, you know, but the idea here behind the binary search is that you know, you test a certain page number and see if um, if that's good enough, right? Meaning that um, if that is enough pages, right, um, uh, uh, to to fit the message. Because, for example, if you if you start with one page, well, this is too long, so you you have you have messages left over, right? So that's too. So you have to try something bigger. If you have if um, if you have a hundred pages, well, if you have a hundred pages, then it's too, the your last few your last pages will be very long, so or very empty. Sorry, your last few pages are empty, so you want something smaller. So that's basically the entire concept about binary search for this problem. Is that okay? Do we have enough pages? Do we need more pages, or do we have fewer pages? And of course, in this case, it, you're gonna have this nice um, monotonically. Um, you know the number of characters that you can support is a monotonically increasing function for with a function of the number of pages and with a given limit, right? So um, I don't know if I said that correctly, but hopefully my idea is correct. Um, you, I, I don't know if I said that correctly, but um, either way, so that's basically the idea. So here we we go. Okay, um, you know this is I'll go over the code in more detail in a second, but I'm just going over my my function because I think that's the core part of the problem, right? So given target pages, um, can we fit message on it, right? And of course, in this case, we, we, this function is going to, for, you know, for pages is equal to, or target is equal to one, it's going to be false for do, 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 until some true, right? So that's the, the idea, the, the function is going to look like. So of course, um, we'll talk about this in a second, I guess. But here's the target, and this is just basically simulation, right? As a as a function after this, because okay, let's say we have m is your the length of the message, and in this case, you don't actually even need to know the message because it doesn't matter. It's the message length, right? There's no like treating spaces differently or anything like that. So the message doesn't matter as long as, long as the length is right. So we start with current m. Um, so this is the three is basically. Um, so this is basically trying to figure out the, the you know x over y thing. So the three here is you know one, two, and three, and the length of i, which is I guess okay, fine, i over target say, i over t. Um, so l of i is just length of i, and length of target is length of t, and that um in terms of the string limit, and that's basically how many characters we need as a base case, right? Um, and of course, if we already, if this is already greater, um, if this is already bigger than the limit, we return false, uh, just as a shortcut. Otherwise, um, let, let's say we have a target here. Oh no, let's say we have a limit, right? And we need the, this many, then hmm. Actually, I, now that I think about it. <laughs> I think this isn't a, as a function of target, so maybe uh, maybe you could just linearly, you could just even keep on adding to it, maybe. 
Oh no, because you have to know target. Okay, as here, so that's a function you needed. So that's why you kind of need this function, or that's the way that, or the, the way that I thought about it, you need this function. Okay, fine. Um, so basically, because for example, if target's a hundred, then you, this is one more, and then there's some other, you know. But yeah, so basically, um, well, this is basically what is used up, right? Because this is the limit of the entire of one chunk, and this is how many characters needed for just the. Uh, the i over t thing and then we use that much so at the end if we are able to consume the entire message we return true otherwise we return false because we need more pages and you know um and this is very standard binary search stuff here um basically if you have if you have an f that means that it's not a possible answer so you want to go to the right oh uh yeah if if, if you have a t then it is a possible answer you want to move to the left including the t um, again, I'm not going to go into detail here for binary search because you should build up good fundamentals for binary search before this problem. But you know that's just a little bit of a hint. And then after that, let's say we have the answer. This is the target. Then now let's just um, this code looks very similar to this code, but it's to just like reconstruct the answer. Um, and that's pretty much what we do. We uh, this is the number of things needed, and then. And that's that's matched here, but otherwise you use the first used number of characters. I used a, a a queue to kind of just keep on popping left, and of course the last messages. So that's what this is for. Um, but yeah, and this is of course going to be linear time ish. Uh, I say ish because each character will be popped once, but you also have this like weird thing. So yeah, and then I I missed these two lines because I just wasn't thinking about the impossible case. That would have gotten me to fourth place. I'm a little bit sad that it knocked me out of the top 10 as a result but um but yeah i just forgot about this and then after that just return answer um and that's pretty much it um what is the complexity here right well it should be um, it's kind of tough to say um in terms of like i don't know the output size right because it, that determines on it depends on the limit and and I guess in the worst case, each character will have his own page, if you will. So in the worst case, this is going to all of M space. Um, in terms of time, um, the good function as a result, it will be all of M because each character, like let's say in the worst case, you, ha you have this times M. So so this is going to be, um, or use this is going to be one in the worst case. So um or maybe zero I, I guess it could be in the bad better case but in either case this will only go of target um which target is uh upper bound for target is going to be m because at worst you need m pages for m characters so this is going to be o of m in the worst case um so as a result this is o of m and this is o of uh log m iterations because uh write is m but also um yeah, because you can't go over, or you don't need to go over M messages. So this is, of course, M log M, and this is O of M as well. So in total, this is going to be O of M log M time and O of M space. Um, cool. That's pretty much all I have for this one. So let me know what you think. Um, st stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health, and you could watch me solve a live in the contest next, including being really sad about this part. <laughs> See ya. Should be right, but I might have it off by some weirdness. Okay, good. <clears throat> How are we doing time? Did people already finish? Okay, let's go. Hmm. Let's see. That's cute.
Let's go down. We'll try some small. Press. No, just do something. That's what I'm gonna need it just for fun. For the now, use this as well too. I really like this one. Maybe off by one, but still.
the last hour. I don't know if this is the right answer though. So, uh, so I have one here. Oh, uh, because hmm, why does it feel as fourteen if? I want an 11. Oh, whoops. What a typo. G. Mm -hmm. Oh, YOLO. Mm, I, I thought I should have tested some zero numbers, to be honest. Actually, I didn't know that there was an empty case. Maybe I misunderstood. Oh, if it's impossible. Okay, well, damn it. Hmm. Huh. I I uh, I didn't read the impossible case. I was thinking about it, but. Hopefully there's not another long answer. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. Um, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. Hope you had a good contest and yeah, let me know what you think. See ya.